Yo, my name is Shelton. And look, I know that researching treatments for HSP could be daunting and sometimes even depressing, but I believe that it's necessary. So as a state ambassador for the Spastic Paraplegia Foundation and a person who is diagnosed with HSP, I want to bring to you more research findings on HSP. So today, let's talk about what five prominent studies have concluded about cannabis and spasticity. Before I get into my research, I gotta give a huge shout out to Rudy Van Herden. On my last video, I asked you guys if you could think of any other words that HSP could stand for besides hereditary spastic paraplegia. And Rudy Van Herden commented saying hereditary superpower. HSP stands for hereditary superpower. And I love that. Thank you so much for that comment, Rudy Van Herden. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys what five prominent studies have concluded about cannabis and spasticity. The 2001 reference book, Marijuana as Medicine, The Science Beyond the Controversy, noted the following. According to a 1982 survey of people with spinal cord injuries, 21 out of 43 respondents said that cannabis reduced their spasticity. And a 1997 survey of MS patients who used cannabis regularly found nearly all of the 112 respondents also said that cannabis helped lessen pain and spasticity. A 2012 report and expert review of neurotherapeutics noted that results from randomized controlled trials have reported a reduction in the severity of symptoms associated with spasticity. According to my research, these are highly encouraging findings. In a review published in 2014 by the American Academy of Neurology that looked at nearly three dozen studies exploring the use of cannabinoids in the treatments of MS, epilepsy, and movement disorders, researchers concluded that oral cannabis extracts were effective in reducing spasticity and spasticity-related pain. Similarly, a 2015 research review published by the Journal of American Medical Association that examined more than 20 randomized clinical trials of cannabinoids found, quote unquote, use of marijuana for chronic pain, neuropathic pain, and spasticity due to MS is supported by high quality evidence. Adding to this mounting evidence, a 2017 comprehensive review by the National Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine looked at 10,000 scientific studies on cannabis conducted since 1999. Researchers said there was substantial evidence showing that adults suffering from spasms due to MS were found to experience improvements and symptoms through the short-term use of oral cannabinoids. I know that this research doesn't mention HSP. However, the primary focus was cannabis effects on spasticity, which is a primary symptom of HSP. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that medical cannabis could help reduce spasticity for people with HSP? In my opinion, I just feel like it's a case by case basis and what might help one person might not have the same effects on another person. So I would always suggest before trying cannabis or any other treatment, check with your neurologist or medical professional. Are you considering trying cannabis for spasticity treatments? If you have tried cannabis for spasticity or HSP treatment, please let us know your results and what type did you try? Did you try the cannabinoids? Did you try the CBD oils? Like, let us know what type and what were your results. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm definitely going to look into it. And when I do, I'll be sure to share my results. 
I'm going to be sharing more research findings and exercises geared towards managing HSP. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you and be safe. Let's get it. Let's go.